Do you want to say something to your fans? Oh She's God. back. Oh, wow. Big, beautiful release. <laughs> yes. And then I had another big, beautiful occasion in my life. I had my little boy. Yes. Oh. He had his first time on, on a movie set and he loved it. And he's got an obsession with superheroes and Marvel. <laughs> so we said that Silvermaster was the, uh, the stunt choreographer for the Hulk. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> weird also. It can be weird. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Sad guru. And I saw him, I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, I think something. Oh. <laughs> I love my martial arts. I love my kickboxing. It's, it's very difficult to not get typecast. <laughs> Item songs, you know, certain types of role would lead me in a different direction. Yeah. Imagine a world where laughter was a universal currency. Mm. How rich you Oh, are. I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> So mm -hmm. speaking Tamil in, in mission and, and getting to uh, do that in the studio was really special. Hi, this is Deepika. We have with us beautiful Amy. Hi, Hi Deepika. How are beautiful you? Beautiful Deepika. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. You just made my day to be oh. very frank. And yeah, uh, before we start the interview, welcome back. Thank you. So we were missing you actually. So uh -huh. uh, what were you doing this in small break? I mean like... So the last film was mm -hmm. with Laika. Yes. It was 2.0. It was a big, beautiful release. <laughs> yes. And then I had another big, beautiful occasion in my life. I had my little boy, yes. Andreas, and that was phenomenal. The most challenging but rewarding role so far <laughs> and uh, and then COVID hit yes and then it was game over for everyone but it actually came a really nice time because you know it's bittersweet in that sense because I had the beautiful time at home with my son yeah and um, you know those those times you just don't get back so yes. maybe it was uh, the the universe colliding in a certain way <laughs> so being a mother, uh, what is that one thing you've learned? Because like you've got so much time to spend with him mm -hmm. and uh, also like because your acting and work schedules might clash mm -hmm. and you've got a very big advantage you had COVID. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, you were mm -hmm. with your son. So mm -hmm. how did you manage? That's very true. And I was speaking about this the other day and I think all mums get it. Uh, not so much dads and this is just a mum thing. It's the <laughs> mum guilt trying to balance yes, the two, yes. Ooh, it's difficult um, <laughs> in here, but you can make it work, you really can. I mean, we shot Mission and Andreas came with me. Oh. He had his first time on, on a movie set and he loved it. And uh, obviously met all my, um, like my Indian family here, my, my <laughs> friends and you know, people I call family and uh, celebrated Diwali. So I'm very much um, a mother who believes in lessons can be taught out of the classroom also. Like you yeah. had such a wonderful experience here, different cultures, different people, different food. Um, so there's one thing I've learned being a mum and you gotta go with the flow. You just gotta make it work. Yes. You make it work. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Since you've talked about the set, I think uh, your son is pretty lucky to watch you act. That uh -huh. too is something which is very unique from other films. Mm -hmm action oriented mm -hmm. of course he would have seen you fighting with people no mm -hmm. so what was his reaction initially well on set uh, silver master was there and he's got an obsession with superheroes and marvel <laughs> so we said that silver master was the uh, the stunt choreographer for the hulk okay um, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a little surprising. and he was massively impressed and okay. obviously he knows that's a movie right yes so yes, we could yes. kind of comprehend the two mm -hmm. um and know that mummy wasn't really like beating up people um so he knew it was pretend and it was like play acting so uh he thinks it's great he thinks it's great fun uh so i'm going to take him hopefully to see the movie when i get back to london Okay, so mm -hmm. and this role actually is quite unique because like we have seen you as a homely girl mm -hmm. and anything like uh, as in like it is something which is like girl next door feel mm -hmm. and this is completely different. Mm -hmm. I mean like we have seen you working out and also your fitness is oh my god it is remarkable to be very <laughs> frank and uh, that to post uh, I mean post your delivery mm -hmm. and your fitness is just like swish and you have just come back to your normal size mm -hmm. and that is really really great so mm -hmm. this fitness action how did you manage i think i have a real love for fitness mm -hmm. anyway and mainly i like it for so many other reasons but mainly it's so good for my mental health yes. and mental well-being mm -hmm. like if i get that workout done in the morning i feel like i've achieved something i've got a free mind and you know it gives me time to really take that time for myself 
um, mm -hmm. for that one hour and I get rid of all sorts of, you know, built up emotions or tension and I can think really clearly. So obviously that helps. I, I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And then obviously you see results and you yes. like the results and, uh, and then it just goes hand in hand with acting then. I yes. love my martial arts. I love my kickboxing. Um, I love boxing. Mm -hmm. And this role was perfect for that. Yes, yes, yes. So let me take back you to the memory lane on the retrospect, just going mm -hmm. back. Uh, we have seen you as a little teenager in Madrasa Patnam and you were so beautiful in that film. Mm, and that bond from there till uh -huh. now, uh -huh. A.L. Vijay sir, uh -huh. that was uh, such a beautiful bond. I, I'm sure like he would, he's just part of your family now. He is my family. <laughs> yes. He really is. I joke he was like my guru because every film I would get, I would you know, ask his opinion and, you know, is this, because obviously I was very new in the industry, mm -hmm. I was very young and he really helped me and pointed me in the right direction. Um, you know, Shankar sir, when he wanted me for I, mm -hmm. um, spoke to Vijay and Vijay helped and brought me down to Chennai. So it was an amazing, amazing partnership from the get-go. Uh, and Vijay has carved out my entire career. Yes. You know, finding me in London, casting me for the film, um, as, as the British governor's daughter and then the whole uh, splay of, of movies then came from that. So yeah, actually in another interview, Ail Vijay also said something like uh, uh, this role needed an English police officer yes. and immediately that spark, it was you. Yes, and, yeah. I know, which is, really, which is really lovely. And I love the fact that films generally, they're becoming way more international. Yes. I think we have the likes of Netflix and Prime to thank for that. You know, we're watching films in so many different languages. Mm -hmm. So lots of my friends are now watching, you know, Tamil and Hindi movies. And, you know, there's a real crossover, which is yes. great. Mm -hmm. You know, we have Namisha playing yes. uh, the, the love and the romance of her own Vijay. And then my role as a British, you know, prison guard, yes. As, as Sandra James, so it's a real international crossover, which is really cool. Yes, yes. Uh, speaking of the characters and in any other film as such, mm -hmm. how do you see this, like, I mean, like, in general thing, uh, like, typecasting a role, mm -hmm. how do you see that? I, it's, it's very difficult to not get typecast, <laughs> and it really is, and, you know, initially I, I played the role of Amy Wilkinson, yes. which was very sweet, very girl next door, very, you know, um, endearing in that sense and then I was very aware of the fact that item songs and uh, you know certain types of role would lead me in a different direction yes so I was very uh, conscious of it and I chose roles deliberately to kind of stay away from that stereotype but you still you know you get put into a certain bracket which is fine yeah. you know there's horses for courses uh, but as an actor you evolve it's been what 13 years. Yes. I want to say 13, it might be 15. <laughs> since Madras, <laughs> okay. since Madras Pathanim, okay. which is a really long time. But over those years, you evolve and you adapt. Yes. And, yes. and this is a whole different character and different role and different challenges. So I really enjoyed So that. you're basically balancing in the middle somewhere. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in the next, season. Next, next week, you'll see me, you know, shimmying myself on a, <laughs> on a Bollywood item number. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm an actor and I like to create and be diverse. Yes, yes, yes. And since you've told, like, you've been in so many years in this industry, mm -hmm. of course, uh, what are the Tamil words you've got to learn? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I speak a lot of Tamil in, in this film yeah. and I dubbed uh, yes, Tamil, yes. which is great. And I love BJ trusts me with that. I think it's really important. I had a wonderful lady, Ravina, dub for me in yes. I, and she was incredible. And her voice really helped the character. Yes. Uh, but sometimes that's not the case, and they miss, you know, the emotions that you were trying to create on screen. So mm -hmm. speaking Tamil in, in mission and, and getting to uh, do that in the studio was really special. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I mean, like uh, movies do come and uh, play a major role. Mm -hmm. And of course, people just love you, what you do. But there are things like criticisms and reviews which are going on this internet. And mm -hmm. how do you take that? Criticisms, how do you take criticisms? Criticisms? Uh, on general, not just movie. Yeah. On general, how do you take it? I mean, I don't really pay much attention. Good. You know, I, I have a beautiful life. I live the way I want to live. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the way to, to be. You know, people are going to have their opinions. 
And I feel like a lot of people have their opinions because of their own insecurities. Yes. So unfortunately, that's on them and not me. <laughs> mm. Well said, well said. And uh, since we spoke so much, I really want to give you one good mm -hmm. segment, which is called as the Witty Worthy 30. Mm -hmm. uh, just came up with now. Mm -hmm. It's 30 questions, ju just like rapid fire, you can Okay. See. Yeah. Hit me with it. Yeah. If you were a refrigerator and it could speak, mm -hmm. what would be the items inside will tell? Mm. Oat milk. Okay. Uh, I like... Uh, I like fruit, so I've got strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, uh, mango. My so your go-to food, with. yeah. So go to food. Go to okay. Food. Imagine a world where laughter was a universal currency. Mm -hmm. How rich you you would be? Oh, I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good laugh. So you would be a billionaire. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you could swap lives with a piece of a furniture for a day, which piece would it be, and why? Ooh. Ooh, I've got this amazing cloud couch at home. Okay. We've got a new new house and it's um, from Andrew Martin and you literally, you lie down in it and you sink in. It's called the cloud. So that's peace. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, invent a new Olympic sport that is mm -hmm. not there now. Ooh. Uh, horse riding's there in the Olympic sports, right? Yes. Um, Something, it can be weird also. It can be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um... Uh, dog races with my dogs. <laughs> okay, okay. We, we have a new field at the back of our house and we do, we're literally up and down. I go for a run around the field and my dogs think it's a race. Yeah, that's so I think one I'd kind of workout, that. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you had a personal theme song that is played everywhere you went, what would uh -huh. it be? That's a really good question as well. Um, Beyonce, Break My Soul. Oh my God. Mm. Great choice, yes. great choice. <laughs> if you were a cat and suddenly start writing a poetry, uh -huh. what is the first poem would be? What would I write about? Yes. Oh, my little boy. <laughs> yeah. A, a cat? Yeah. What do you mean? What's the question? I mean, like, if you were a cat, uh -huh. and what would be the <laughs> poem you write? Or in general, okay, what was the first poem you would write? I mean, the first poem I would write personally yeah. would be about my little boy. If I okay. was a cat, probably about how mysterious I was and okay yeah I, I suppose a cat is mysterious like a slinky. black cat yeah cat women oh okay. yeah uh describe your dream sandwich my dream sandwich I had an amazing sandwich yesterday mm -hmm. um we went to see uh sad guru and they mm -hmm. made these beautiful um <laughs> they're laughing <laughs> Because I am obsessed with Sadhguru okay. and I was so like in awe. I, I, I couldn't care less about actors, okay. but Sadhguru and I saw him, I was like, oh. <laughs> and uh, they made the most amazing vegetarian Sandwich. sandwiches, okay. organic. So that you loved it. Yes. Okay. What is the most unusual talent or skill you have um, that nobody knows? Talking nonsense. That's not talent, actually. That's a talent. Talking. You talk to anyone about anything. <laughs> that, that is definitely not a talent, but yeah. Uh, what is the strangest dream you have, have uh, ever had till date? I have strange dreams every single night. Every night I have such vivid dreams. Um, I, I told these guys, I said... I think your friends are I, laughing. They are because I told them about my dreams this okay. morning. Sadhguru was in my dream last night. Again. Again. Oh my God, I'm such a fan girl. Okay. Uh, what is the go-to dance move? My go-to dance go? move? It's like Vogue, strike pose. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. What is the weirdest food combination you have had till date and you've enjoyed it? Um, vegan cheese and chips. That's not weird. Vegan cheese? Do you get it here? Oh, we, oh, vegan cheese. Okay, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Okay. If your life was a movie, what does the title be? It's a really good question. <laughs> oh She's back. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if you could time travel any era, past or future, where would you go? That's another really good question. Um, I, I'd love to go to the swinging 60s. I'd like to see that. I think it was a fun era. It was like post-war. Everyone was having the time of their life. Okay. I think that would be a great one. And then I'd also like to go right into the future. I'd like to go into like the 31st century okay. and meet some aliens. Oh my God. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> okay. If you were a flavor, what would it be? 
and why? Oh, spicy sauce. Why? Because I'm spicy. Spicy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is that weirdest phobia you have till date? Weirdest phobia? I wouldn't say it's weird. I just I I I get I get really freaked out with bugs, but it's not a weird one. I think pretty much a lot of people don't particularly like bugs. Okay, I think something is. Oh! <laughs> just kidding. Okay, the most adventurous thing you have done till date? Uh, I love an adventure. That is like with with uh, me and me and my man. We love an adventure. On our holidays, we go to Africa. We just went and we saw the rhinos and we did conservation oh. over in South Africa for them with notching and tagging and nice. um, keeping them safe for poachers. So that was a big adventure. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. What is the weirdest job you can do? And imagine yourself like. Maybe in the alternate universe. Weirdest job in an alternate universe. Um, uh, I don't know, cooking like spaghetti for horses. <laughs> cooking spaghetti. That's weird, right? Yeah. Let, yeah. Me, <laughs> Let me put there an end go. to that. Yeah. <laughs> Mention three things that you will never wanted to do in your life. Uh, three things that I'd never wanted to do. Yes. I'll do everything once. I'll try everything once. That adventurous. Yes. <laughs> okay. Have you ever slapped someone and why? In real life? Yes. No. No. No, I'm not about the violent type. I mean, the film says otherwise, right. but I like to use my words to annihilate somebody. So, no slapping. No, no slapping. slapping. Okay. <laughs> what is the biggest achievement you've got till date? Anything it can be, not just my so boy. Oh. Yeah, my boy. So sweet. It's the only the highest achievement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what will you not do in spite you are paid a huge amount? <laughs> That's also difficult. That is a difficult question. What would I not do? Um, you have not thought about that? No. Okay, after this interview, yeah, I you will. have to think. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what do you spend way too much money on? Food. Always. Food. What is that maximum you have spent? Uh, I just, it's just every day, like constantly, <laughs> every couple of hours, I look at my statements and I'm like, <laughs> and coffee, coffee, food and coffee. So mostly food. Food and coffee all the time. That's where it goes. Mm -hmm. And I like eating at nice restaurants, but I also like just eating at rubbish restaurants. So it's just a continuous, like outgoing on food. So you experiment with food or just specifically you want something to eat? Uh, I experiment. You experiment? Yeah, I like yeah. to experiment. I like oh. to try different restaurants and different chefs. And then I also like just going down to, you know, the Pret on the corner and spending way too much money on different selections. Okay. Have you ever had uh, street food? After yes. Yes? Chaat. Oh, wow. Mm, what chaat? My favorite. Uh, I don't know what, but it was delicious. <laughs> delicious. And it blew my head off. It was so spicy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your one guilty pleasure? Shoes. Shoes? Shoes. How many shoes? How many oh, pairs? Too many shoes. You've not gotten any count I have it. no idea how many. I'd say over 100. Over 100? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. What, have you ever laughed in a serious situation? I've got a really weird... It, it's uh, Maybe it's a nervous laughter. <laughs> okay. When... When somebody hurts themselves, but not really badly hurts themselves, if they have a bump on the head or something, like it comes out. I don't know why, and it's really inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, it's a nervous laughter, I think. Okay. Yeah. That is acceptable, okay, actually. Good. Yeah. If you could swap voices with a celebrity one day, who would you choose? Oh, Tom Hanks. Oh, my yeah, God. I just saw him in uh, The Asteroid. Is it The Asteroid? The I Wes guess. Anderson film? Uh -huh. I, I, and everybody, the ensemble cast there is incredible, but his voice, I was sleeping on the on the plane and I heard his voice and I was like, wow, that's Tom Hanks. He's got an incredible voice. So one day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some new thing you have learned recently? Um, patience. Okay. Yeah. And surprisingly. <laughs> and I think that comes with time and age, but I'm a lot more patient these days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what is your New Year's solution? Have you ever stuck to it? Yes, New Year's resolution. Uh, I, I, I didn't make a specific one this year mm -hmm. because I feel, I, you know, there's only a matter of time before if it's not a formed habit, you will break it. So my, my resolution per se this year is to stay solid with my morning routine. Okay. And that starts my day. That includes a workout, meditation, I do a bit of journaling and I have um, like my smoothie that I make mm -hmm. and that's hour for myself and that is what I will commit to every morning to make sure whatever life throws at me throughout the day, 
I'm ready. Sweet. Mm -hmm. And the last question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy you are? 12. 12? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a great answer because like everybody will say 10 or something. No, I'm yeah. happy. I'm very, I'm the happiest I've been for a very long time. So, so sweet. That's great. So yeah. sweet. So yeah. Uh, and I really wanted to ask you this also because being in the industry for so many years, mm -hmm. how welcoming the Tamar audience is? Incredible. I think that's why I've lasted so long in mm -hmm. the industry and uh, I think, you know, obviously Madras Patanam and that role really set the foundation, mm -hmm. but the Tamil people, that is like the be all and end all. I mean, I wouldn't be here if people didn't want to watch the films, so yes. it's because of them, you know, I am where I am, so I'm very grateful. So sweet. I uh, love talking to you Me and of too. course uh, this film is so, so beautiful and we could see Amy in a different role cool. and expecting uh, as a fan mm -hmm. uh, in different roles. Do you want to say something to your fans before we wind up? Hi guys, thank you for watching the interview, lovely interview. Um, I'm very grateful for all the support and uh, I really hope you like the role of Sandra James. It's something new, it's something different, be open-minded. And uh, this is for the kick-ass females out there. <laughs> so sweet, so mm -hmm. sweet. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you so thank much. You. I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.